bringing hope the world over. Hope Channel. Isang magandang umaga naman po sa inyong lahat and this is your friendly instructor who will be with you for the next 30 minutes of robust workouts here where we begin our day the good way. Healthy morning start! Kaibigan, masyado ka naman busy sa loob ng opisina at wala na kayong panahon para mag-exercise at stress ba kayo dahil sa sobrang dami ng trabaho? Ika nga ng iba, puro problema na lang. Huwag kang mag-aalala dahil yung episode na to ay eh, sagot namin. Ito yung sagot namin para sa problema ninyo. Simple exercise that you can do in your own office. Our episode is focused on office exercises. And ano ba kahalaga na kailangan natin mag-exercise sa loob ng opisina? What exercise can we do when we are working in the office? And lahat ng yan ay sasagutin natin sa pagpatuloy ng ating programa. But before that, let's watch this video. Kung ang pag-exercise ay nagagawa sa bahay at sa mga gym, sa ngayon ay conscious na din ang mga nasa offices. Sa kagustuhan ng mga empleyado na maging healthy, pinaglalaanan na din ng space at ng oras sa office ang pag-exercise. Mapapansin ang bawat opisina ngayon ay may sariling gym. At kung wala naman ang isang individual, ay kadalasang may sariling kusa na mag-improvise o di kaya naman ay mag-exercise sa kanyang sariling lugar. Mga exercises katulad ng simple stretchings, mga bends and twists na angkop sa kanya habang nangangalay na sa pagtatrabaho. Maging sa ating mga opisina ay kailangan din ng exercise upang maging regular din ang daloy ng ating tugo sa ating pangangatawan. Kung exercise lamang sa opisina ang ating pinag-uusapan, panoorin ninyo ito at siguradong magkakaroon kayo ng mga ideas how to work out when you are at work. Since yung nature ka ng work ko dito ay um, HR, so talagang mga kumakausap talaga ako ng mga tao. So, ang ginagawa kong exercise, since itong building ay uh, tatlong floors, so pag yung halimbawa, nagbibigyan ako ng mga circular sa mga tao, talagang hinahanap talaga sila. Kasi para makapag-exercise din ako, and then, um, the same time, yung... Wala rin akong basurahan dito sa kwarto. So, pag nagtatama na ako ng basura, uh, lumalabas talaga ako. Kung baga, hindi ko rin din talaga, halimbawa, nagkocomputer ako ng, ng, ano, ng, isang baga, ng isang bagay, hindi rin, hindi ko rin din talaga siya dinidire-direct. So, pa, kung baga, kailangan ko rin lumabas para magpaya, kung baga, mag-relax. Para sa akin, mahalaga talaga yung exercise. Kasi, although vegetarian na ako for, for 10 years, almost 10 years, uh, para sa akin mahalaga pa rin yung exercise kasi hindi magiging makabuluhan yung pagbe-vegetarian kung hindi ka rin nagkakaroon ng tamang ehersisyo. Mga kaibigan, uh, bigyan po talaga natin ng panahon na tayo ay makapag ehersisyo sa anumang paraan. Ayan, and I hope the video gave you an idea about the downsides of not doing exercises. Ngayon, eh, tuturuan namin kayo na magkaroon ng variety of office exercises. With me are my fitness partners, Ria and Aldrin, and we'll be showing you our first set of exercise. So for our exercise, we'll be office tayo, we'll be using our chair. This is office natin, we have chairs naman, di ba? So we'll be using our chairs for this exercise. You could use any office chair, and if your chairs have rollers, make sure medyo secure nyo na hindi kayo masyado magalaw. Make sure you sit comfortably and stable steady siya. For our first exercise, this would be a series of stretches for the wrist or wrist stretches. And very simple lang siya. We just extend our arms and then yung wrist pumps natin up and then the other hand will pull our wrist backward. So, ganun siya. And this is good for office workers. Mamaya, we'll try to explain back it. So, we just uh, hold this position for 16 counts and then Mamaya on the other hand. So very simple lang. And we'll start with the right hand in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, and one. Other side, in five, four, three, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then our next stretch would be rest, wrist and forearms. So we'll just have to put our hands in front of our chest and then yung palms up, so palms together, and then press natin yung arms, uh, yung palms natin would be pressed together using our forearms. So, dinitiin natin yan, yung ganyan. And we'll do this uh, for two sets or 16 counts. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you're pressing it really hard. Okay, press it hard together. That's it. Four, three, two, one, and down. So, pag tinignan nyo, nakakatawa, di ba? Pati ganito, ini-exercise natin. But this is very important for office workers. Kasi nga, we're using the keyboard a lot of time. So, we're working there 8 to 10 hours a day na talagang nandun lang sa keyboard. And there is something that we call the carpal tunnel syndrome. It looks, uh, it sounds intimidating, but actually it's just as dangerous as other muscle na mga injuries. So, yung mangyayari doon, medyo tumitigas na yung muscles natin dito sa loob. And the only solution if we have that syndrome is surgery. So, medyo kakatakot and try to avoid that by using yung exercises natin for the wrist. As much as possible, in an hour down, you do that. Para marirelax naman yung, yung wrist natin. And another tip then, it's also part of ergonomics. Pag nag-type kayo, make sure na medyo may soft gel kayo dito sa baba para hindi masyado maliin yung kamay natin. It should be elevated. Hindi tayo nakaganoon habang nagtatype. So, para ma uh, iwasan natin yung mga injuries natin sa wrist. And now, let's go on for our next, next set of exercises. And this is for the lower back. So, lower back stretch. Very simple din lang. We use our chair and make sure you move forward. Don't lean on your back. Uh, back straight. And then, press on the side of your chair. Para mas stretch yung back natin. Lower back. So, press and hold this position for uh, 2 sets or 16 counts. And then, we go to the other side. So, make sure it's not touch you dito. If you could move a bit farther past the back, much better. Okay, but again, don't overdo it. So, ano lang yung kaya ng katawan natin. So, let's do it on one side. Let's do it on the right first. Hold your right side. And in five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, move to the other side. In five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, next exercise would be the hip flexion. So for this exercise, medyo elevate natin yung hips natin a bit. Uh, yung leg natin, right leg a bit. Okay, our arms on the side. And then we just lift it up and down. Hold it for two seconds, lift up. Okay, hold for two seconds and then down. But we, it should not touch the floor when we're doing it. Pag dinaw natin. So, angat lang siya, then down. And we'll do this for two sets or 16 counts. Okay, ready? Position in five, four, three, two, and up. Down. Two. Three, down, four, down, five, down, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's move on to the other leg. Okay, ready? Let's. Go position in five, four, three, two, and one. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. And next would be leg extension naman. So, kanina, we're just holding it hanggang dito. This time, we extend our legs forward. Okay, we'll do it with the right leg. Then down. Then up. 
down, and then up. If medyo bitin yung chairs niyo, some chairs could be adjusted para medyo mas mataas siya, or you could put yung palms niyo dito para maging elevated siya bit, or hands at the sides lang. So for leg extension, we'll do this for two sets or 16 counts. And ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's move to the other foot. Left leg naman natin. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and up. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Now, for our next exercise, would we'll be for the inner thigh naman yun. So, dito. And we'll be needing a simple object na tutulong sa atin to do this exercise. We'll be having, and you could grab it in your own office, siguro a water bottle. If you have a towel with you, pwede nyo gamitin. Kasi we'll be just squeezing it dito sa loob. Okay? So, you just squeeze it. Ganun lang siya. And make sure it doesn't fall down para maganda talaga yung squeeze natin. So, you could put in siguro a water bottle or if you have a mug, pwede rin. But medyo matigas siya. Or better yet, a towel. So, we we'll just uh, for this exercise, we'll just put the water bottle or any object that you have in your office which could replace the water bottle natin. And then, sit up straight, uh, your hands to the side, make sure you don't lean on the back. And medyo forward yun alam content for your thigh para emphasize pa natin. So, medyo you're sitting at the edge of your chair. And we'll just squeeze it, okay, for uh, two sets or 16 counts. So, squeeze nyo lang na ganun. Okay, ready? And five. Four, three, two, and squeeze it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, diba? Very simple exercise and very simple equipment which we can do in our own office. And here's another exercise na kayang-kaya natin gawin sa office natin. And this is the chair squat. For the chair squat, definitely need your chairs. Pero try to sit a bit on the edge of your chair. And then form the squat position. Lift your buttocks up. And then count 1, 2, 3, and then up. And then down. 1, 2, 3, and up. And then down. So ganin yung chair squat natin. Which could, could do in the office. So try to sit on the edge. And kapag pagod kayo, you can sit down, uh, all the way down, and then back up lang ulit. But make sure since we're on the edge, try to sit down a bit slowly. At baka pag umupo kayo, eh, hindi nyo naabot yung upuan nyo. So, madisgrasya pa tayo. So, try to do this carefully. And ready, we have a good position. Arms forward. Lift your, uh, on the start, on cue, we will be lifting our buttocks and then stand up high. So, ready? In 5, 4, 3, 2, lift. 1, 2, 3, up. 1, Two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, and that's it. For our next exercise, we'll still be doing our chair, but instead of squatting, we'll do the dips naman. So, parang ni reverse na natin, instead of going up, we'll be going down this time. So, again, we sit on the edge of our chair. I'll try to show it to you from the side. So, mas clear tayo. And for the dips, we just hold on the edge and then dip tayo. Try to go as low as you can. Then, medyo extend din yung foot natin. Okay? Then, go to dip and then back up. Then, dip and then back up. Okay? So, we'll do this again in two sets or uh, 16 counts. Okay, ready? So hold at the edge of your chair, your feet a bit far, farther from the chair, and ready for the dip. Okay, remove your chair butt, so we'll, and we'll do the dip. 
in five, four, three, two, and one. Down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you can sit back up. Make sure if you're using yung chairs niyo, have rollers. Try to secure it para hindi kayo, hindi mag-slide yung chair niyo. So, just another safety tip lang before doing this exercise. And our next exercise is called the front raise to tricep press. And for this exercise, we'll be needing yung water bottle din natin. So, you grab your water bottle for this one. Uh, if you have some dumbbells at, at the office na maliit lang which you try to invest on so you could use that also but if not a water bottle would do right? 500 ml or or a one liter like what we're holding right now so the bigger the better para medyo may uh, strength na madadagdagan sa ating exercise so this one would be easy our starting position would be holding the water bottle in front so hold it securely then move it up and then bend your elbows to uh, put your water bottle natin down far back sa likod natin. Okay? Then back, up. And then starting position again. And then up, back, and up. Then starting position. So make sure you hold your water bottle securely para hindi kayo malaglagan nito. Pag nag-exercise kayo, medyo masakit din yan. So ready? Starting position. And we'll do this in 2 sets or 16 counts. Ready? On 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, and up. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and last set, one. Okay, that was good. That was very good for your tricep. And this time, one would be the biceps. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bicep curl. So, you hold again your water bottle, and for my curl, shy, you can sit up straight and then curl nila. Like that. So, you know, it's simple. And we'll do this for two sets or 16 counts again. Okay, ready? Start the position will be down. Uh, straighten your back. And we lift our water bottles in five, four, three, two, and one. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's put it on the other hand. Okay, we'll let's still do the bicep curl for the left hand this time. And ready? We'll lift it up in five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. For our next exercise, we'll still be needing this water bottle and we'll be doing the side bend. For the side bends, we hold the water bottles like this. Starting position is lifting up high and then we move to the side, to the right, and feel yung abs and you would contract here and then move it back to the left. So feel your abs again contract. Then back to starting position. So we'll do this for two sets or 16 counts. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Center, two, center, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Okay. And our next exercise, still with the water bottle, would be in ab twist. For ab twist, we hold it uh, here in front, and then we just twist our abs to the side. First, we'll start at the right. So right, and then center, left, center. Okay, then right, center, left, center. So, sana may laman pa yung water bottle niyo kasi baka nahingal kayo kanina, inubos niyo to sa iinom niyo. So, sayang din. You need a little water dito. So, make it cool din. And ready? We'll do this exercise still in two sets or uh, 16 counts. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Center, two, center, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that is our final exercise for the office exercises na din na episode. And make sure that kahit sa office kayo, really exercise. They say, yung recent research nyo they say that those who sit too often, would have shorter lifespan. Kasi nga medyo sedentary sila, so they don't get to move around. Your body nila is, doesn't being, uh, is not being used that often. So medyo, uh, hindi na maganda yung condition ng katawan nila. So they'd end up having shortened lifespan. So make sure you do exercises in the office. And it could be as simple as using the stairs, parking away from the front door para maglalakad kayo, or even just walking kapag break, going to your colleague para may so, may exercise naman yung katawan natin. So, those are just simple tips you can do in your office to continue to have exercise and maintain a good and healthy body. Oh, ayan! Marami na naman kayong ideas in doing your office exercises. And tandaan, kailangan na magkaroon tayo ng regular exercise to stay fit and healthy. And now, to give us more ideas on how important exercise is, let's hear an advice from our resident physical therapist, na si Sir Elazar Katangay. Sir Eli, take it away! Marami po sa atin ngayon ang busy-busy na sa ating buhay. Halos kulang ang 24 oras para gawin natin ang ating mga gawain. Halos wala na nga tayong panahon para sa ating sariling katawan. Ang ginagawa na lang natin pagkatapos ng trabaho, kakain, mag-uwi sa bahay, manunood ng TV ng konti at magpapahinga na matutulog na. Kaya nga, ang nagiging resulta, naglalakihan ang ating mga katawan sapagkat sa pagkain na lang natin ibinubuhos ang ating panahon. Hindi na natin nabuburn ang mga kalori na ating ipinasok sa ating katawan. Meron po tayong magagawa, mga kaibigan. Pag tayo nasa office, pwede pa tayo mag-exercise. Pagdating natin, mag-set aside tayo na mga 5 to 10 minutes para maikilos natin ang iba't ibang parte ng ating katawan. Healthy practice po ito. Kung magiging regular lang tayo sa pag-e-exercise, makakapaglaan tayo ng 10 to 15 minutes sa umaga bago tayo magumpisa sa ating mga gawain. Kung ito ay magiging habit natin, mai-enjoy natin ito. Pwede pa rin nating isama ang ating mga kasamahan sa ating office. At habang mas marami, mas masaya at mas malusog. Pwede rin gawin natin to during copy break o gawin nating exercise break na mag-stretch tayo lalo na pag napapagod na tayo pag tayo ay uh, nai-stress na gawin natin ang time na mag-break para iunat-unat ang ating mga katawan ang ating mga kamay huminga ng malalim para mapaltan ang mga hangin na nasa loob ng na ating katawan, madagdagan ng oxygen sa ating mga brain, lalong magiging matalas ang ating mga pag-iisip, magiging efficient tayo sa ating mga trabaho. Yan po ang mga benefits ng mga exercise na gagawin natin sa, sa office. Kung wala tayong panahon para pumunta sa, sa mga gym, sa mga exercise area, kung wala tayong panahon na mag-jogging sa umaga, 
o anumang mga sports activities, gawin lang nating regular ang pag exercise sa ating opisina. Matutunaw nito ang mga taba na ipinasok natin sa ating katawan. Marahil yung tabang yun ang makabara sa mga ugat sa puso natin na maari natin ikamatay. May iwasan natin ang maraming masakit. Kung tayo ay regular na nag exercise mapanatili nating malusog ang ating katawan. Kahit na po tayo nasa loob ng ating mga opisina, air condition man ito o hindi, mahalaga pa po ang ating pag-exercise upang mapanatili ang kalusugan ng ating katawan. Ito po ang inyong kaibigan, si Eli Katangay, dito po sa Healthy Morning Start. Back to you, Gino. And all right, and pretty good advices coming from our resident PT. Thank you very much, sir, and I'm sure marami naman natutunan ang ating mga televiewers. But before we end the show, let's all pause for a short prayer. Let us all pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we thank you, this Lord, dear Lord, for this beautiful morning that you've given us. We thank you, this uh, dear Lord, for the body that you have been blessed, that you have been keeping us strong and healthy to be able to uh, do what you have been requiring of us. And Lord, guide us, kahit nasa office kami, that we'll be continue to have strong and fit body, that through our office, we will to uh, reflect your character in us, and to show also to our office mates, and also be a temple uh, for, you, for you. This we all ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, I guess we don't have much time, and salamat sa pagtutok ninyo sa aming programang pangkalakasan. Patuloy po kayong sumuporta sa aming programa and I guarantee you, hindi lang kayo matututo ng mga exercises, hindi maramdaman nyo rin ang pangalaga ng Diyos sa inyo. Dito pa rin where we start our day the good way. Healthy Morning Start! You're watching Hope Channel, around the world.